Welcome back. We've finished off pretty much all we could at the moment with the support request, so it's time to get back to the urgent one at the top. But best pick up this one because I... If I'm right with the guide on this, it's pretty much that idea of like, there's a small opening when I can get this done. And it's just before an event, so it's like... I'm gonna be careful there, so... It's from the Crossbell Times. To celebrate the 70th anniversary, we've decided to publish a visitor's guide that describes many famous places in Crossbell. We would like to request photographs be taken from around the state. For more details, to the receptionist at the Crossbell News Service in the Harbour District. So we'll go, go get that sorted first. Welcome to the Crossbell News Service. How may we help you today? Hello, we're the special support section. We're here to follow up on uh, the support request you submitted. Oh, it's nice to meet you all. Thank you for coming. The person responsible for submitting the request wishes to explain it to you in person. Do you mind? Is now a good time? Yes. Yeah, we're fine to help you out right now. Wonderful. I know it's bothersome, but please go upstairs to the second floor. I'll call and let her know you're ready. Okay, uh, sounds good. Anyway, uh, should we head upstairs? Upstairs, my god, they've got tea everywhere. It's like paradise. There's a grenade launcher in the corner. Hello, hello, my wonderful friends from the special support section. It's you, Grace. Why am I not surprised? Jeez, what the heck did I ever do to you guys? Pretty rude reaction to give one of your most loyal fans. You should all be rejoicing at the fact that you've been graced by my presence while I'm oh so busy. I'm not sure I understand where you're coming from. Uh, that is unimportant, though. Would you please proceed with an explanation of what your support request entails? Sheesh, I figured you'd react like that. Anyway, let me give you the rundown. You probably got the gist of it when you read the request, but... The Crossbell Times is aiming to publish an additional issue meant to act as a tour guide. And your best friend Grace is leading the charge. Isn't this my most fabulous idea ever, eh? Hey, I gotta admit, uh, I'm on board. Please continue, Grace. Right, so, I'd like for you all to go take photographs uh, to, to use in the magazine, if you're up to the task. I only need the, the snazziest shots you can take of Crossbell's most popular sightseeing spots. Monsters roam the highways, so aren't exactly most suited to go straight into the front lines to get some great action shots, you know? However, I have my reservations as to whether any of us are qualified for the job. I cannot guarantee the level of quality you aim to seek with the photographs we take. Reigns is already busy enough, thanks to how crazy the anniversary festival is. He is usually my right-hand photographer, but alas. Oh well. I prepared a nice little memo for you guys that outlines all of the best tourist spots to take photos. I'm counting on you to bring some fantastic shots. As long as any of you have the tiniest bit of experience handling a camera, then we're golden, my friends. Um, I actually have a little bit of experience. Whoa, seriously? You do, Ellie? Huh, news to me. Curious. I would believe you would need to use an orbital camera for quite a while to master it. Well, it was a hobby of mine while I was studying abroad. Of course, it's been quite some time since then. I've probably gotten a bit rusty at it. That's more than perfect, trust me. It's still better than being completely green. Well, now that we've resolved that issue, are you feeling up to the task? Yeah, we should be good to go. We accept your request, Grace. Oh, my heroes. Uh, well then, here you go. So all we need to do is find scenic spots around Crossbell and take some photos with this camera, right? Bingo. I better not find any scratches on it, Kay. Oh, right. One more thing. To be cautious of, everyone. Gonna lay it on us. The Enneborean Empire's border can be seen as clear as day from Belgard Gate, as can the Calvardian border from Tangram Gate. It's a huge no-no to include any pictures of 
them in our magazine. So please do try and avoid snapping any shots of them, okay? Is it due to political tensions? Indeed it is, Ellie. Circumstances on our side prohibit us from using them too. Okay, so taking any photos of the border is a no-go. Anything else we should know? Yep, I'm setting him a minimum quota of five photos to submit. Feel free to take more than that if you can. We're going to publish it at the end of the festival, so take as many photos as you can. After all, the more photos you can take, the more it'll help us out in the long run. Hmm, yeah. That's about it for now. Understood. When you've wrapped everything up, just let our receptionist know and she'll give me a ring. But anyway, back to work I go. I'll be eagerly awaiting your results. <laughs> Some people never change. Can't say I've met many ladies with a personality as wild as hers. Well, I think it's safe to assume that Grace is literally incapable of running out of energy. Where exactly is she able to muster up her limitless vitality from? Well, regardless, she managed to skillfully redirect all of her busy work onto us. Eh, who cares? It sounded like she was in too big a hurry for the photos. Suppose we should just remember to take the photos as work takes us on our rounds. True enough. Entrusting the photography to Ellie will ensure that this request be completed with ease. Please lower your expectations. It's just a small hobby of mine. I'm sure you'll be fine, Ellie. Let's just make sure to remember to take some photographs when we come across some scenic spots. There we go. So, we will be doing that at some point, just not. Yeah, so, missing tourists. Go find her. Last night, a foreign couple stayed at my establishment, but now there is no sign of them. Please help me find them. I'm afraid they went somewhere very dangerous. Please hurry to Ash Tree Inn for details. Oh, goddess. If something ends up happening to my customers, my inn is done for. Please be safe. Uh, excuse us, uh, you're Mr. Gofen, right? We're the special support section. You submitted a support request to the CPD, didn't you? Oh, I'm saved. I've got a monumental problem on my hands, everyone. Uh, if I knew this was going to happen, I would have tied them down while they were still in the village. Oh, this is all my fault. Sir, please try to calm down and explain the situation. What in the world happened? <gasps> Sorry about that. I'm just a little overwhelmed by this fiasco. Allow me to start from the beginning. Yesterday, a foreign couple checked into my inn. Everything was fine, but when it came to bring the breakfast in the morning, the room was empty. It was like they were never here. I have reason to believe that they ventured to the ancient battlefield off of old Amarica Road. The name rings a bell, a cross bell. I think I mentioned it before. Historians have found traces of an old battlefield off a branch of Old Amerika Road. If I remember correctly, wasn't the stone bridge connecting the paths down? Well, it was. It seems that it was repaired recently, though. Now any random person can wander there all willy-nilly. That couple kept on talking about how they were to go sightseeing while they were in Crossbell. Upon hearing that, I warned them about entering the battlefield. That might have backfired. Hmm. Battlefield would probably make a pretty sweet tourism spot. Is it really that dangerous, though? Absolutely. The place is famous for housing a multitude of incredibly powerful monsters. Heck, even the villagers here know it'd be crazy to try and go there. And on top of that, ever since the bridge was repaired, no one's been patrolling the area. That means we can't confirm whether things have gotten better or worse. And those tourists have unsuspectingly wandered into a dangerous place. This is not the optimal situation, certainly. Agreed. We can't take this lightly. Please, I'm begging you. Can you find them and bring them back? For now, my friend Alfred is standing guard, making sure no one else enters the ancient battlefield, but... At this rate, my customers will be in deep trouble. Understood, sir. You can leave everything to us. I assure you, we'll find your tourists. <laughs> Not like we can refuse. You know, it'd be a lot easier if tourists would listen when we give them advice. Especially from locals. Nothing to do but trek them down and bring them back. 
<laughs> Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means to me in the end. If I lost them, I don't know. Go, fun. One of his regulars, maybe? Keith, what's the matter? As you can see, I was in the middle of an important discussion. This is no time for discussion. You know how that couple went missing? And now the inn is in the crapper because of it. Yes, I'm fully aware. I just told these officers about the entire situation. Well, there's no need to freak out anymore. For the sake of the inn, I called in the cavalry. The cavalry. What are you talking about? Come on in here. Don't be shy. My boss will explain the entire mess to you. Sure, lay it on me. It's Scott. I'm Scott of the Bracer Guild. So, you've got a missing couple, is that right? If you don't mind, could you fill me in on the details? Now, hold on. A Bracer? Why are you here? Huh? You're at that special support section, aren't you? Given the circumstances, it'd be wrong to call us meeting a coincidence. Keith, explain to me why you brought a brace here immediately. What do you mean? Whenever you're in a pickle, you go to the brace guild, duh. That doesn't rhyme, Keith. When I heard about what happened, I sprinted all the way to Crossbell City to submit a request to the guild. Oh, I can't fault you for caring, but I really wish you'd cleared it with me first. Just our luck. Dude, you have the worst timing. Ever. Huh? Why is everyone being so hostile right now? I don't really understand what's happening, but it's obvious that something's up. Sorry, but can I get a brief explanation of what's going on here? Sh sure, here's the rundown. Lloyd explained that the SSS had come to accept the same request. So that's how it is. This whole thing is a giant misunderstanding. That may be, but what should we do about the missing couple? I'm not sure what the proper protocol is for when the police and guild accept the same job. Hey, we could always turn this into a fun competition. You'll be the first to find the tortoise, something like that, maybe? Randy, that's not the issue here. Lloyd, what do you think we should do? Hmm, I have an idea. Scott, if you aren't opposed to it, why don't we work together? <laughs> no complaints here. I was actually thinking the same thing. Joining forces with the Bracicle. Might as well. So we're searching for this ancient battlefield together, eh? Right? No, we can split into groups. From what we've heard, this place is practically a den of monsters. And we need to secure the safety of those two tourists, ASAP. I might be familiar with the general area, but the battlefield is no small place. If we split up, the probability of fighting them will skyrocket. If we keep in contact with our enigmas, we should be able to find them relatively soon. True. Indeed. That seems like the most reasonable strategy. I'm all for that plan. Lives are at stake here. The more help, the merrier. SSS, Scott, I'm counting on you. And with the client's permission, we're good to go. Yeah, let's do our best. Lloyd and Scott exchanged Enigma contact info. Alright, let's strike while the iron's hot. I'll head on to the ancient battlefield. Whenever you're all ready, come catch up with me. I'll see you later. Okay, everyone. Once we're prepared, let's make our way to the ancient battlefield too. After all... We don't want to fall too far behind, Scott. Missing tourists! It's like, dear, oh dear. To get to the ancient battlefield, you have to cross the metal bridge that's on old Amerika Road. I beg you, please find those two and bring them back. All right, calm down, calm down. I have somehow ended up making things more complicated than they needed to be. I just wanted to impress Gofan, but maybe I rushed things. Still, I'm glad that a bracer is going to be there to help out the police. I mean, yeah, it's... it's pe people's lives are on the lines. There's no time to be, like, quabbling over, like, well, what if this, what if that? It's like, no, 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 no. Let's just get to the ancient battlefield and try and find this person. Aren't you the special support section? 
A place that just came here to look for the missing tourists. You must have had the news and came to provide backup, right? Can you please assist him in locating them? Please assist that brace in finding those tourists. I'm counting on you. Finally get this chest that I saw ages ago. That was it? A proxy puppet? I don't even use them. There are some peculiar magazines inside this chest. We decided to leave them where they were, despite Randy's protests. Randy, Randy, Randy. Always Randy, Randy. Back in my day, we had to work hard for our curio bombs, and we definitely wouldn't have 99 of them in our second playthrough, no siree. Good for you. Like what? People play how they want to play. Wow, this is sure is, um... Battlefield. Oh, an ancient. Yes, of course. I spot three chests. Wow, so this is what the ancient battlefield is like. There are just as many ruins as I had heard. And with a name like Ancient Battlefield, I wouldn't be surprised if something nasty showed up. We all know I'm a betting man, so I'm placing my chips on the ghost of a long-defeated army, or something equally crazy. Ghosts? <laughs> Rains at that point. Please, no. Ellie? <coughs> you heard nothing. I have to say, the weather is harsh, and the place is infested with monsters. We don't have much time if that couple ventured further in. Call cool, Ellie. Let's get this search underway. I do like it just rained at that exact point. <laughs> like, of all the times it could start. Like, bam, right then. Alright, what we got? Vampire Thuan. Okay. Plant that grows by sucking the nutrients from its prey and pairs foes with its horns. Mickey Mouse. I'm not going to go for the separate in terms of Lloyd's. It's craft. Normally I would, but I think on the... Stopped raining? That's weird. What the... That came flying at me! What are you? Okay. Cursed shield, used by a mad warrior in the Middle Ages. Can reflect physical damage and cause confusion. Right? Hi. Thunder Cyclone. It's like, yep, there you go. What the hell? That sort of thing like, what are you made from? Living totem. Might be risky doing that, but no, seemed okay. Depicts the gods of the Middle Ages, okay. The carved head chants a variety of arts. Well, it's dead. That's all I really need to know. Inside, you find a shirt that reads, I checked this chest twice. And all I got with this lousy t-shirt. You decide to not take it with you. I would totally take that with me. Hmm. I mean, haven't I technically fought these? No, Sephithemon. Or maybe, what were the ones called that I had to kill? I'm entirely sure. Strange monster with separate masses in its body harnesses. Carnini is team to breathe fire. Well, assume I've not. We'll, we'll just assume that, you know. Just throwing out big, 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 big damage type parts here. So why not? Like that one, it's like, and we're done probably. Yep. It's just, that's so overpowered. Ooh, sandbags. Let's, uh, I don't know which is the right way. It's the only issue here. It's a fishing spot. I should really think about getting a roof installed. It depends, it depends. How did you see me? Got detection on me. Got 
detection on. Yeah, let's go get those ones up there. I would fish, but it's like, I can come back here later now, so it's like, it's fine. Get all the fishing done whenever I want at any point now. You brute! I can't believe you took my chastity like that. You had better take responsibility. Chastity. Really? We chess people are actually in the middle of a war. Can't give you more items because I'm rationing. Good luck with your quest, though. Alright, so the question is, which way do we want to go? Let's just go this way because it's closer. If that's right, I don't know. Again, we can come back then. If a cluttered chest is a sign of a cluttered mind, then what's an empty chest a sign of? A no good thief. Ah, yeah, that's quite clever, that one, quite clever. I can't get that way. At least we got the chest. Question is, how absorbent are the clothes that they're wearing right now? Because while it is raining, like, probably getting sodden. It's definitely like if we do a battle, it, the rain stops. Which is strange, to say the least. Aha! Uh -huh. Monsters appeared. Fairly simple of all the AoEs I've got. Meh. The NEC PC8801 version of this chest had a way better soundtrack. It was just before you time, and you wouldn't get it. I, I, I wouldn't get it, no. Is that who I think it is? That's one of them, then. She's dead. Scott. Oh, hey, it's you guys. You're quick on your feet, eh? Yeah, well, we're kind of used to running all over the state at this point. But hey, is this lady one of the tourists? After I made sure she was alive and breathing, I noticed that she had a Calvarian passport. So, yeah, I think she's one of our targets. How is she holding up? She's fine. Chuck of seeing all these nasty monsters knocked her out. Don't worry, I took care of them. See, not a scratch on her. Phew, thank goodness you were here, Scott. The support request mentioned a couple, so where is the second half? Could he have ventured deeper inside? If that's the case, we need to locate him as soon as possible. He seriously left his lady behind and ran. Can't say he's the shining example of a gentleman. He may have been taken. And I can't particularly blame him if he was cornered by monsters. You guys going ahead without me. I'll watch over her a little longer. If you could go on and search the interior, I'd owe you one. And that shouldn't be a problem. Thanks, Scott. I'm going to continue treating this woman for a little bit longer. Go on ahead without me. I'll catch up with you guys later. Say something, God. She's not speaking, Scott. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? No, oh, bad. That's a bad sign, right? Some graves here. We're working on a mod that replaces Randy with a pepperoni pizza. Please, look forward to it. I won't. Don't seem to be anything on there. <laughs> ah, we got away from you! Like you turned your back and then I took my chance. Ooh. Just looking around at things. Like, What's that over there? There's a door over there. I see it. I see it. So I'm trying to like look under like the top of my monitor to see more. It's like that's not how it works. Did you know that Tria, the receptionist at the Crossbell News Service, has a red pyramid on her desk? Well, now you do. Know. I already knew. I already knew. In your fit. Hello. Because Edibonian spy. What is this place? It's enormous. Hmm, I believe this is a ruin referred to as the Sun Fort. Why do I know that name? Its origin and history are shrouded in mystery, but historians estimate it was constructed at least 500 years ago. Yep, it sure looks like a fort to me. I could even call it a fortress. Figured it must have been used as one during the Middle Ages. Triple dot. Is everything all right to you? No, I just triple dotted. But yes, I'm fine. It's just 
I felt something odd resonating from within the ruins. The start of the game, isn't it? There. That's that's where it is. What do you mean by odd? Well, it looks like a plain old rundown fort to me. But who knows what kind of creepy stuff's crawling inside there. I'm sorry if I worried you. I'm sure it was only my imagination. More importantly, we should turn our attention to the tourist. Our search would be m much more difficult if he entered the ruins. We do not have time to spare. Right, uh, let's keep moving. Oh, we might be able to take one of Grace's photos here later. We've got other things to worry about right now. We need to hurry and find the tourist before anything happens to them. Oh, there you go. Just did a curious thought. Alright. I'm not telling you what I was looking at there. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you. You have to figure it out on your own. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised this staircase still, like, is in working order. Stripping. Stripping. Back. That did too. I need to see about getting... Uh... Yeah. The EP sorted would be a good idea. Well, I don't need to do that. That's, that's, that's uh, not Salamander. So. Crash bomb. Lovely, Randy. Well done. <laughs> Destroyed. Right. Listen, I I'm not that kind of chest. I was drunk and young, and I thought it'd be okay if it was you. J oh. That's, uh... Alright. I, I don't think we want to pry into the details there. So if we go... Oh, I'm not going to be able to find out. Um, let's see about throwing out some EP charges over there. And an EP charge over there. There we go. Level up those. Ooh. I forgot we get skills. <laughs> Strangely. Got him. Please take our chest satisfactory survey. Oh god, I hate these. I always say no. Oh, lovely. Use it well, comrade in rods. No comment on that one, really. That's just that. All right, that chest just popped in. I saw that. You need the uh, more chest messages in DLC to view this message. I'm not paying for that. Ooh. But on the wall, I turned around right when I was going to hit it. Damn you! Hi. Hi! Zoop. A vile bird of prey that scavenges for corpse meat. Normal attacks might be enough here just to finish this guy up. There you go. They say that uh, air is human. Indeed, by your hands I am now naught but air. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. I, I, I don't know what to say to that, really. Big, 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 like, crater there. Can I open up the wall? <laughs> Can I open up the wall? Why is it being chased? No. Inside the chest, you find a smaller chest. Inside that chest is an even smaller chest. Inside that is an another even smaller chest. Inside that chest is nothing. It's, it's empty at that point. Just there we go. 
I'm happy now. Because I was like, there's gotta be, there's gotta be a way. There had to be. Oh, what was gonna be like behind the door? How do I get in the house? Ah, I call it a house because it's a house, yeah. You open the chest and peer downward, only to find a clay hand making a certain gesture. Got him. Eh. Eh. Like, all right. Not exactly the best messages, is it? Someone, please help me. There he is, Lloyd. Yeah. Gonna eat you. Why is this happening to me? Hell, can't anybody help me? <sighs> Goddess, please have mercy. Hold it. Now, well, 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 what's all this then? <laughs> Talk about impeccable timing, eh? Save the dude from going splat by mere seconds. Please explain how this timing is in any form impeccable. With the Crossbell Police Department. We'll distract the monsters for you, so make a run for it. Okay. Uh, we didn't say now. Oh. Whoa. What's with these monsters? They look seriously tough. They seem to be different from the usual monsters inhabiting the area. Are they from ancient times? Well, either way, we'd better not go easy on them. By this time, we show our friends a lesson in pain. Here they come. And I think it's probably best to do that to ensure like we're covered and everything. So I was expecting like like a moment to get stuff sorted before we go into battle, you know. Lovely, thank you very much. A lovely EP heal there. Alright, so obviously, have a long game. Yes. It's like, ob obviously. Alright, so. Strength, defense, and speed up Nolan's ailments. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Suffer faint afterwards, but I'm gonna do it. What? You know I love this song! It's so good! It's so good. Um, Axel Rush. I think this is my favorite song from this whole thing so far. Yes! Now, what's that? What was that? What was that? <laughs> oh, you seem to have missed. In your face, mate. Well, I don't know. You have to get one through, don't you? Otherwise, you look like a fool. Hmm. Quite formidable, are you? Let's go normal attacks for now. Get him, Randy. I really should have checked out what they're vulnerable against, but it's like, screw it, we'll throw that out. Uh, Mickey Mouse, have a long gate. Oh, I was hoping to get stuff up before I did this, but... Oh well. I think I've of that step if I haven't got to do it. Themselves, you know, just gotta be a bit more careful. Good, good. I 
We've got two Sephips coming up there. Oh, well, it doesn't matter now, it's dead anyway. Yeah, you said it. What? D did we defeat them? Phew, that was tougher than I had anticipated. Oh, that was a friggin' pain. The hell are these things? You can't be serious. Oh no. Exclamation. Can't you guys stay down for one second? I'm way too beat to think about fighting again. This is bad. Really bad. Need to find a way out of this situation. Huh? Got a freaking sniper rifle! Strike! Adios? I made it just in the nick of time. No, hold on just a damn second. What are you even doing here? <laughs> An awfully cold reception, considering I just saved your lives. Scott took it upon himself to handle the request on his own. I'm aware of how dangerous the area can be. How are you? How are you aware how dangerous the area can be? I need more details, thank you. So I thought I would offer my assistance. Thank you for saving us, Adios. Uh, we appreciate it. We were incredibly lucky. You can fool the ladies, but the damn near-perfect timing ain't fooling me. You had the whole thing planned from the start, didn't you? Oh no, pal, you ain't striking your way into this heart. <laughs> I'll leave it to your imagination. Hey, are you guys alright? Oh, Scott, it looks like she finally woke up. Yep, not too long ago. Thank you so much, everyone. I don't know how I'll ever be able to repay you, Braces. Seriously, we even got to see an awesome show. We took down those insane monsters with one fell swoop. Um, Scott, I, I think I felt my heart flutter when you saved me. And your skin with that rifle was just... Wait, honey. I'm just glad the two of you are safe. <laughs> ah, history is doomed to repeat itself. Don't fret too hard, Randy. At least we all work together to save the tourists, right? I would consider this mission accomplished. It's triple dotting over there, I saw that. Hmm, something up, Arius. Not particular, eh? I think we should focus on escorting these two back to Amarika Village. Watch our six special support section. Understood. Yeah, because this thing, at the end of the day, it's like... You guys were instrumental to saving those people at the right moment, so... Everyone, thank you for bringing them back safely. I was almost done for. Don't mention it, Mr. Goffin. I'm not sure what would have happened if not for Scott and Arius being there, though. Hopefully those tourists take a long, nice nap before doing anything else. On a side note, those braces are some serious guys. They... Sure like to stay on top of things, don't they? I can't deny the braces all seem to have impeccable timing. At least, we were able to finish the support request without too many issues. Yes, but one problem remains. During the support request, the guild and the police work side by side. Now that it's over, how should we go about reporting this? Hmm, good point. What you call, Lloyd? This definitely wasn't a standard case for us, that's for sure. I said it before, but if Scott and Arios hadn't been there, I'm not sure if we would have been here as successful as we were. I think this time we should give them the credit for resolving the request. That won't be necessary. Arius? Scott? Gofan, it seems as if those two wish to apologize. They've reflected on their ways and regret ignoring your warning about the ancient battlefield. Oh, is that so? Uh... It's not as if I'm going to lose sleep over this ordeal, but... <laughs> Hopefully this was a good lesson for them. Excuse me, Scott, uh, what did you mean by that would be necessary? Well, I've talked it over with Arios, and we came to a decision. We want the SSS to be the ones to say they completed the request. Um, did I hear right? Looking back on this case, you two clearly did the heavier lifting. That's not true. Since you all were able to go on ahead, that brought me time to look after the lady. And if you hadn't made it to the man in time, I'm 
Not sure if he would have made it. Sure, our results may sound nice on paper, but in the grand scheme of things, we think the SSS was crucial to the request's success. <laughs> it was sort of embarrassing to be praised by your rivals, eh? I wouldn't say we're rivals in the slightest. Yet. The special support section. It appears as if you've matured a little since we first crossed paths. Especially you, Lloyd. What? You remember when we first met in the Geofront? Back then you decided to recklessly throw away your life fighting against an unbeatable foe. As if you were some kind of martyr. But this time, you refrained from doing that. Despite your odds being slim, you kept searching for a way to break through the situation, as if there was some kind of, like, barrier in front of you. One requires unwavering strength to relentlessly go against all odds. Such strength is far more powerful than sacrificing your own life. Though your ability can't be denied, the fact that you were able to find another way against all odds is proof in itself that you've become stronger. Thank you. It seems I've talked too much. Scott, return to Crossbell City and report to the guild. Roger, Arius. Well, special support section, it was a pleasure. Hope we get the chance to work together again someday. Likewise. I would be lying if I said I expected to hear encouragement from Arius McLean. Tio, don't be rude. Uh, but you're right, it was a little peculiar. <laughs> I wouldn't let it bother you. We finished the support request, didn't we? That's enough to be happy about. Yes, I agree with the redhead. Special support section, thank you once again. I'll be knocking if I need help again. You can always rely on us, sir. We'll be waiting at the door. Yay. And obviously we're going to end this part here. In the next part, we'll head back to the ancient battlefield, see about getting that picture, and then go try and get the other pictures in return back and hand it in. Y you get the idea of what we're doing. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.